uh, you know, it was a matter of time uh, in terms of, you know, when the BOJ would tweak YCC. But uh, I think, you know, the fact that they moved uh, last week was a bit surprising because uh, it was a preemptive action by the BOJ, which is in contrast to uh, Mr. Weta's stance that uh, he would uh, rather risk being behind the curve than being premature. Uh, but at the same time, you know, Weta had also noted previously the difficulty of signaling changes to YTC as the market may start attacking the moment uh, they signal. So um, I think the key part really is that uh, the BOJ saw more upside risk in inflation and they tweaked YTC uh, in case these upside risks uh, would materialize. And this is um, key for two, two reasons. First, uh, they may be becoming more confident on inflation but then secondly, unless upside risks materialize, they would probably try to contain the yield. So there are both hawkish and dovish elements in it. You say that they expect more upside risk, but Ueda said specifically he does not expect interest rates long term to rise to 1%. The BOJ's forecast for 24 is, uh, uh, it has been trimmed a little bit, and for 25, showing no growth either. So where is this inflation going to come from? Yeah, so that's the thing. I think, um, you know, we've seen upside risks in inflation, and they have to admit that, uh, you know, things, things are changing. And uh, maybe Japan's long-term inflation fundamentals are improving. But at the same time, you know, we've had 30 years of disinflation and sometimes deflation. So it will take time for them, and, and I think, you know, for the market to be convinced that, uh, you know, inflation has become sustainable. So... If Japan is a normal economy with normal history of inflation, maybe the evidence so far is enough for, you know, uh, the market and the BOJ to be convinced that, uh, you know, this is a sustainable inflation. But just because of, you know, our history in Japan, uh, it will take time. And hence, you know, we need more evidence uh, of inflation. And for that, I think uh, the next uh, spring uh, wage negotiation is going to be very important for the BOJ's uh, policy action.